I'm here today because I believe that we have the power to change this for the better and change our world for the better for the future generations and to make it a better, more livable place. Young people are the people of the future and we're the ones that are going to be living in this world so I think it's important that we stand for what's right and we stand for what we believe in. Why are you here today? Uh, in solidarity with young people across the country that are rising and demanding climate action ahead of the Glasgow Climate Talks because we know our future's on the line. We're here to stand in solidarity with the primary and secondary students that are out here. We're from the Curtin Student Guild, so uni students showing up to support. The government has chosen to ignore the imminent threat of climate change so that they can continue to stay in power. They have chosen to throw money at their mates in the fossil fuel industry rather than listen to the scientific consensus reached by top scientists and agreed on by our global allies who are already making strides for change. When planet Earth is under attack, what do we do? Stand up like that! What do we do? Stand up like that! What do we do? Stand up like that! Doing this makes me feel more powerful and more confident about changing the future. I think everybody should be raising a voice about it, but I do find it really inspiring that um, such young people are so savvy and they're so aware of all of the issues that are happening today and they're willing to come out and take a stand. I think an important thing to remember is that we're outside of the West Australian Parliament today. 233 years ago this parliament didn't exist. This is Wajuk Noongar land and it has been for over 40,000 years. So I would like to see policies that return sovereignty to the indigenous people whose land this is and that we take their lead in caring for land and living in harmony with it. Our government Student! 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 We've got to have no new coal mines, no new gas plants. Absolutely. Uh, we've got to have a just transition for, for communities affected by that. Uh, but we've also got to have at least a 72% reduction uh, in uh, emissions by 2030. This whole idea of 2050 as the, as the benchmark target, it's nonsense. Unless we get our 2030 target right, we won't get anywhere by 2050, and even if we do, we're too bloody late. So that's what I think is really important to do now. Let's cut through the greenwashing uh, and get actual action. We've been talking about um, global warming ever since we've been in school. I think I'm somebody and my generation has grown up with the idea of global warming and it's kind of depressing to see that nothing's been done about it. Governments don't take it seriously. People don't take it seriously. Um, hopefully that we get a lot more advocacy towards it. I would like to see a net zero emissions by 2030 policy, meaning no new carbon emissions, no new coal mines, no new fossil fuels. I would like the government to take this seriously. I would also like the government to give land rights to First Nations people because climate justice cannot be achieved without First Nations justice. I think the government has a responsibility to take care of the youth. We're literally fighting for our future. I'm trying to ask, it's not your time.